Hey y'all, it's Betsy and mom with Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to another garden video. Hope you can hear me because the air conditioner just kicked on. If you can't, I will probably be doing a voiceover that does not match up with this audio. So, Merry Christmas. Today, we are planting this beautiful purple pillar rose of Sharon. So it is a type of hibiscus. I don't know if it's a variety of hibiscus or a sister of the traditional hibiscus plant, but rose of Sharon's come in a lot of different colors and sizes, and they are a smaller bloom than a traditional larger, I'm going to say dinner plate hibiscus, but that's not quite the right word. Um, they also typically get, you know, lots and lots of buds dozens and dozens they will bloom for seasons in some areas some rows of sharons can be very invasive these from proven winners are not i have two or three of them up the hill that are the pink chiffon and we just bought mom a blue chiffon but all of the chiffon family get really wide like six feet wide by 10 to 15 feet tall this purple pillar gets 10 to 16 tall but she only gets two to three wide. So as you can see, I have this large expanse of wall here and I've been looking for something that is both tall vertically and pretty, not just a boxwood, which is what mom thinks I should plant, um, to go here. Now the, the benefit of a boxwood is that while it's not prettier than a Rose of Sharon, it is evergreen year round. My Rose of Sharon will die back in the winter. so. You know, you have to weigh the evergreen versus the blooms. For me, I found this one half off, so it was worth it. But we're gonna go ahead and plant her right here. Some of this lantana will probably have to move later in the season because it, it needs a smidge more space, but that's okay. I kind of want one up here and one here, so I'll probably just pop this back one up front and these two over a little. Lantana, I thought all of these were dead. <coughs> I literally dug them up. I thought they were dead sticks. I was going to put them in the compost. They each had a smidge of green at the bottom and now they are full on plants. So I will move them in the fall and they should be just fine. And if not, I already thought they were dead. So if I lose one, <coughs> it'll be fine. But I have two smoke bushes back here that died. This one has a, uh, a runner twig that has come up. I don't think it's the main plant. I think it is a baby of the main plant. Um, but we're gonna leave it in case it ever grows up into a real plant <coughs> and plant the, the purple pillar next to it. So I'm gonna let mom pull that out because I am injured and she is helpful. I need, you need a shovel? shovel right.
All right, so we moved one lantana forward. We may still need to move some more, but it turned out very pretty. Pollinators are already finding it. You can see it has lots more buds to come. And if it actually gets up 10 to 16 feet tall, you'll see it from my kitchen. Either way, I am filthy after five minutes and the mosquito hour is upon us. So we're gonna go inside and I will keep you updated on how this grows. If you wanna check out my other Rose of Sharon's, planted two last year, the same variety, the pink chiffon, one as a plant and one as a bare root stick. No other way to say it, it was a stick. So go check that out if you want to see how those look. And I have a new updated video on those as well. I'll link both down below. Bye.